What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. It is 320, August 15th, 2023. And I am at the Orlando International Airport, also known as MCO. I arrived, wow, about half an hour ago. Half hour ago, we landed on my flight from JFK. Arrived earlier than expected. I checked into the Hyatt Regency, which is located inside the airport. The one bad thing about this hotel, which is inside the airport, is that you actually have to go down to get your luggage and then schlep your luggage up to your hotel room. All right, so here I am. In case you guys don't know what I'm doing here, I am here for the State of Florida Master Plumbers Exam, which is being uh, given tomorrow in Kissimmee, Florida, which is about, I don't know, it said 10 miles away, but it takes about 30 minutes from the airport. Hopefully at 6 o'clock in the morning, it'll be a different traffic condition, and I'll get there a little bit early. Um, I'm not going to overwhelm myself this evening with studying. I'm not. Let me show you what I got set up. But what a nice little room. Nice room, $150 a night. We're on the seventh floor, got a nice view of the runway. I got a nice bathroom already set up. By the way, guys, if you don't travel with one of these, this is called a Toto, it's made by Toto, right? A totable portable bidet or washlet. Man, you guys are missing out. You guys are really missing out. Um, got a nice room. I have everything set up already, and I'm not going to study that much right now. I already have my bathing suit on. I'm going to go to the pool, swim for about maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, I got everything laid out. One thing I forgot to pack was extra socks. So I'm going to let these air dry for right now. My bombus. I'm going to let them air dry. I got, uh, I got everything set up here. I even got a $100 bill in case I need to test a condenser fan motor. Okay? Um... So here is going to be my study station uh, for only a couple hours this evening. And I'm going to finish up the evening with reading this magazine, which has been sitting. <laughs> it's been sitting on my nice day at home for quite some time now. Uh, you don't want to bombard yourself too much the night before, okay? I've taken many exams, many, many exams. And what works best for me when you're dealing with open book tests, right, um, is to spend... A few hours every day, a few could be two, right, or three, with a break in between, a few hours every day for the up, you know, the 14 days prior, okay? I have a lot of text here, by the way. I have a total, a total, right? I'm not exaggerating. Uh, minus the clothes that I brought with me, right? I have a total of 54 pounds of text, 54 pounds, okay? We have the fuel gas code book. We have the accessibility code book. We have the mechanical code book. We have the plumbing code book. Hold on. We have solar water and pool heating book. This is just my stuff for the exam. I have it all like even the car rental, the reservations for the hotel, all that good stuff. The admission slip, right? Um, the residential code book, the plumber's handbook revised. The OSHA book, the 64E6, which is dealing with sewage uh, and, you know, cesspool and waste systems like that. NFPA 14, NFPA 99, and last but not least, mathematics for dummies. Uh, I mean plumbers, okay? And just so you know, I'm really retarded, right? Triangle, okay? Triangle, right? To obtain the length of side A, we must first ask ourselves, what do we do? <laughs> right? Here's the answer. This is the formula. Right? I have a lot of good stuff in here. Complementary angles. Boom. Like that. You know? Loop vent. Right? And loop vent venting, the vent stack is continued upward in the building until it is higher than the largest, highest fixture. Right? Honestly, I've never even heard of a loop vent before, and I've been doing plumbing since 2001, okay? So I got all my books laid out, and I have some sample exams. Now, I'm going to keep it real. I bought my plumbing course, which included some online classes from these folks called exam pros. And I got to tell you, these folks at exam pros, they're real effing morons. They are. They're geniuses, 
right? Not really. I'm, I'm being sarcastic. They're, they're morons, right? Um, I'm just going to show you something real fast, right? Let's go to, let's go to exam number three, answer key. Okay. Everything that's um, highlighted in green is the wrong answer and or the wrong reference for that answer. So for example, let's go to number 41, right? Right, 41, let's go to 41. Let's put this right here. We're gonna put that right there, 41, okay? See that guys? Okay, let's go to, pay, let's go to the exam sheet with 41. Is that it? Uh, uh, yep, okay, 41. What is the maximum developed length of an indirect waste pipe before it must be trapped? Okay, see that? What is the maximum total developed length of an indirect waste pipe before it must be trapped, right? And they're telling us that the answer is B, and we need to go to the Florida Building Code for Plumbing, and it's section 802.2, okay? So let's do that, right? 802.2. Here's my plumbing book. Let's go to section eight, which is indirect special waste, right? 802.2, okay? There it is. Material, joints, and connections. The materials, joints, connections, and method utilized for the con construction and installation of indirect waste piping shall comply with the applicable provisions of chapter seven. Hold on, what do you mean? But you just told me it was 802.2 and the answer is B. But is it B? All right. Indirect waste piping. Let's go to 802.3. Indirect waste piping that exceeds 30 inches in developed length measured horizontally or 54 inches in total developed length shall be trapped. So the answer is 54. All right. Where, where are we? Where are we? I'm 54 and 41, right? But these jack-offs told us the answer was B and in the wrong section of the code, right? They told us it's 52. What are you, stupid or something? But that's not it. There's more, right? These are all the ones that I found this morning that were wrong. And I got up to number 51, I believe. Let's see, how far did I get in this? Let's see. Oh, I got up to there. See, I'm just answering along as I know. I'm at 59, and we're going to do the rest of exam number three, and then we're going to do exam number four, okay? Um, we're going to do that in a little bit. But the reason, one of the reasons why I am helping others, because in my opinion, these, I can't, can't speak for all of them, but when you apply in the state of Florida, uh, right, for a contractor license or an exam, for example. Because Florida is an open record state, kind of like when you get pulled over in Florida, all of a sudden the next week you're getting a dozen, like dozens of postcards in the mail from traffic lawyers, right? Because they're an open record state, and which is great. I love it. I love transparency. I love, you know, the accountability that they have in the state of Florida. Me and Ron DeSantis, man, we should be best buds because, man, Florida's just a great ran state and... God bless America. God bless Ron DeSantis. Um, but what I found was, this is not my first rodeo with exam pros. Uh, they're in Florida. Um, they really don't, they're really not being held accountable for their inactions. Um, when I took the Air B uh, um, course and the exam, a lot of the study guides that they were showing me um, that I need to prepare for the exam uh, were moot, which means that I didn't need to know this stuff and they're, they're showing me the wrong stuff. I remember so many times I'm going through the code book for my Air B exam, which I did very well on, by the way, uh, 85, I think. I'm going through the code, the code books, looking for answers, you know, because uh, it's hard, it's difficult. And for some reason, the majority of the answers were not the ones that I highlighted. Come on, guys, you're going to tell us to highlight stuff and it's not even on the exam. I, I called them out on it. I was like, well, our teacher, we you know, we let go of our teacher because, I like, said, I don't care. No excuses, right? So one of the reasons why I decided to start helping people, and you can email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com, um, and we'll work out an arrangement where I will help you pass the business and finance law exam for the state of Florida or for the state of South Carolina, where I'm also licensed. Um, I'll help you take 
the Air B exam, which I'm also going to take the Air A next time as well, just because I want to, because I think I could pass it, you know, easily. Uh, and also the plumbing exam. Um, thank God, you know, I have, uh, I've been blessed. I have been taking these exams uh, for quite some time now. And uh, I want to share uh, my knowledge in not only prepara uh, uh, preparation for these exams, but I also want to share my knowledge on how to pass the exam. Uh, because it's not about memorization. It's not. It's about knowing how to locate the answers for a specific question, right? And here I am, I'm surrounded by books, right? I am, look, I'm surrounded by books, but I wanna help you pass. So if you are struggling to pass the state of Florida exams for plumbing or for air or for business law and finance, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. I'll help you out, I'll help you out. We'll do it together, okay? <sighs> okay. I think I've taken enough of your time. Thank you so much. I'm going to go hop in the pool. And you know, you know I'm going to be stealing these towels. <laughs>